Okay, this is section 3.3, .3, which is increasing and decreasing functions and the first derivative test. So the definition of increasing and decreasing functions is if x is less, x1 is less than x2, then f of x1 is less than f of x2. So this means x1 is on the left, x2 is on the right, as on this image. And the y value of x1 is going to be smaller than the y value of x2. Now how you get there doesn't matter. You could be going um, what's called concave upward, like a parabola, or downward, like a downward parabola, or it may be looking straight through. Regardless of the orientation, um, it the concavity, it is still going to increase. Now the definition of a decreasing function is x1 is still less than x2, x1 on the left, x2 on the right, but this time f of x1 is greater than f of x2. So here's x1 on the left, here's x2 on the right, and this guy's y value is bigger, is bigger than the other guy's y value. Okay? And again, the curvature doesn't matter whether it's going concave downward, concave upward, or going straight through to the next point. Um, either way, the, um, the function is still decreasing, okay? So now we're gonna cover theorem 4.5, the test for increasing and decreasing functions. So here it says that if you have um, f prime of x is greater than zero, for all x in AB, then the function increases on the interval AB. If f prime of x is less than zero for all x in an interval, then the function decreases on the interval AB. If f prime of x equals zero for all x in an interval, then the function is constant. It looks like a horizontal line on the interval AB. So here we go. The strategy for finding intervals of increasing or decreasing. Um, so first you find f prime of x, then you set f prime of, e prime of x equal to zero to find all the places of horizontal tangents. These are called critical numbers, remember that? Um, use the numbers found in step two to break up the real number line into intervals. Use the domain of f to outrule any intervals. And then five, test an x value in each interval using theorem 4.5. Um, and then summarize findings in the interval notation. Now, this part where it says set f prime equal to zero, you also need to set the denominator of f prime equal to zero to find the other kinds of critical numbers where the derivative is undefined. So let's go ahead and start in the next video one of these examples.